Just about the worst case scenario for a child is to have a narcissistic parent. They are far from the nurturing, encouraging stereotypes we have for parents. Narcissistic parents don't help their children to become independent adults. They hinder that development. As with a narcissistic mother and her daughter, narcissistic fathers have a special relationship with their sons. They interact with them differently than their daughters, and they can cause a lifetime of damage. There are, in fact, several ways a narcissistic father can damage their son for the rest of his life. It's vital to understand the effects of the narcissistic father on their sons in order to prevent that kind of caustic damage and help the son live a more normal life. Keep watching to explore the seven ways that narcissistic fathers can affect their sons. Narcissistic fathers strip their sons of resolve. The narcissistic father is constantly reminding his son that he has little value as a person. This critical father will remind his son of his failures and tell him that he isn't really good at anything. With this kind of negative feedback, it's hard to imagine any child could develop the resolve to do anything. No matter what the son of a narcissistic father might want to do with his life, for example, he will always hear his father telling him he can't do it. Like his constant criticism, this makes the child reticent to try anything for himself. He doesn't develop the skills to try, fail, and try again. He can't envision himself ever succeeding because his narcissistic father is telling him that he will never amount to anything. Because the narcissistic father lacks empathy, he doesn't see how this kind of treatment will affect his son. He doesn't realize that he's robbing his son of the tools he needs to become a successful adult. But then again, the narcissistic father doesn't really want his son to become independent. Without any resolve, the son of a narcissistic father will likely drift through life without any sense of purpose. He won't believe in himself, and he won't have the resolve he needs to grow into his own person. Toxic fathers make their sons feel helpless. A narcissistic father will hardly ever praise his son, and in fact, he will often angrily step in and take over a task while criticizing his son at the same time. He will make his son feel inept and helpless. He will hammer into his child's head that he is not able to do anything for himself. From the narcissistic father's point of view, the child is not living up to his expectations and that requires devaluation as a response. The narcissistic father feels as if the son is purposefully trying to embarrass him or contradict him. He doesn't have any empathy, so he can't see how his harsh criticism is crippling his son. His son learns to be helpless because everything he tries, his father criticizes him and takes over. His father doesn't let him try and fail and try again, nor does he even let him finish trying. He intervenes because he is fearful his son will embarrass him. So the narcissistic father takes over before his son can mess it up. He teaches his son to be helpless because he never lets him try. Narcissistic fathers can make their sons aggressive. The narcissistic father is so harshly critical of their son as they grow into their own person that the son often becomes aggressive as a defense mechanism. They learn to respond in an aggressive way, to shut down criticism, or to counter their own father's aggression. As they grow older, that aggression can become a real problem for them in school, in their work, and in their interpersonal relationships. They can easily become abusive, and they may even carry out aggressive crimes like an assault against people they feel have wronged them. It's really a defense mechanism they're using to cope with the internal shame and sense of helplessness and ineptitude their narcissistic father instills in them. 
Rather than turn away in passivity, they strike out at anyone who might make them feel lesser, just like their father always did. It's a recipe for an eventual disaster as the child becomes increasingly aggressive and even dangerous. It's not uncommon for such damaged sons to end up in jail or worse. Toxic fathers can make their sons passive. If the son of a narcissistic father doesn't become aggressive, he may give up and become exceedingly passive. They are constantly telling their sons that they are incapable of doing things or can't do them well. That can cause the son to simply give up on trying. They opt instead to just drift through life with little reaction to what is going on around them. They've learned to be helpless, and they've learned through the years of emotional abuse that they can't make a difference. They come to believe the lies their father has told them about how disappointing they are, and they give up trying. They don't have any ambition or drive to improve themselves. In fact, they may show very little emotion at all. The children of narcissists must learn to recognize their parents' moods and suppress their own emotions to avoid conflict. They can learn this so well that they numb themselves to any emotion whatsoever. Narcissistic fathers may make their sons passive-aggressive. Sometimes a narcissistic father causes their sons to respond to life in a passive-aggressive way. Passive-aggressive behavior is when someone expresses their negative feelings in an indirect way instead of openly talking about them. This creates a disconnect between what the person says and what they do. An example of passive-aggressive behavior would be if someone knows you're self-conscious about your weight, but they continue to call attention to it with a backhanded compliment. They might say something like, I see you've lost weight. How much more weight do you need to lose? It seems like they're complimenting your weight loss but they're also calling attention to the idea that you still need to lose more weight. There are a number of different passive-aggressive behaviors a son might exhibit toward his narcissistic father. He might, for example, be habitually late. Lateness is a sign of disrespect, and it is likely to bother a narcissistic father very much. Sarcasm is another example of passive-aggressive behavior that the son of a narcissistic father might adopt. Narcissistic fathers cause their sons to have problems with intimacy. Narcissists have problems with intimacy because they know they can't let someone get too close. If they do, they will see their flawed true self. For that reason, they keep everyone at arm's length. The son of a narcissistic father, however, learns that they can't let anyone in because that person may make them feel bad about themselves. They fear the criticism that they have always received from their father. They don't want to get too close to someone else because they fear they will see all the flaws their father has told them about for years. They are ashamed of who they are and they don't feel like they deserve intimacy with another person. The son of a narcissistic father may also become a narcissist himself, and if that happens, he will avoid intimacy for the same reasons his father did. That is, he doesn't want anyone to see his truly flawed self. Narcissistic fathers fill their sons with shame. Finally, all of these behaviors that the narcissistic father exhibits toward his son serve to fill his son with shame. They harshly criticize them, humiliate them in public, rarely offer praise, and then only when it serves their purposes, and they teach them helplessness. Just about everything a narcissistic father does to his son fills his son with fear and shame. If his child doesn't become a narcissist, he will likely become codependent. Either way, his child will suffer the effects of narcissistic abuse for the rest of his life. It will take intense therapy to help him recover, and even then, he is likely to still have problems with depression, anxiety, and shame. 
Shame is one of the most destructive emotions an individual can carry around, and the sons of narcissistic fathers often feel its effects for the rest of their lives. It makes them hesitant and fearful, and it keeps them from pursuing the things they consider worthwhile. It hampers almost everything they do in every part of their life. Finally, a narcissistic parent is just about the worst type of parent a child can have. The nature of the father-son relationship means that a narcissistic father can inflict severe damage on his son. He will teach him that he has little value as a person and can leave him emotionally vulnerable for the rest of his life. He will most certainly use the emotional triggers he creates to manipulate and control his son. I have developed a five-step roadmap to heal emotional triggers that can help prevent any narcissist from using someone's emotional triggers against them. This free guide will help you identify, diffuse, and even heal the emotional wounds that created those triggers. That will give you control over your emotions and keep a narcissistic father from manipulating you ever again. Just click on the link below the video and I'll send this handy guide directly to your inbox. Thanks for watching.